This is political vindictiveness on the part of the mayor. New developments tonight surrounding a grade tampering scandal that has rocked Hill House High School in New Haven. And good evening, everybody. Tonight, the school's principal sticking by his claims that was, it was all about political payback. Just a bit ago, Kermit Carolina, the principal of Hill House High School, spoke openly about the investigation in a press conference. News 8's Aaron Logan was there. She joins us now live from New Haven City Hall with the latest developments. Aaron. Well, and Principal Carolina and his attorney chose City Hall as the location for the press conference because they say this is the scene of the crime. They say this whole investigation was sparked because they weren't supporters of Mayor DeStefano. Joining me live is Principal Carolina and his attorney. You had some really powerful statements up there, Kermit. Yeah, um, I've, first of all, I think you hit it right on the head. We're back at the scene of the crime. This is where it began at, at the mayor's desk, and this is where we'll end at, right here at the steps of City Hall. Uh, I'm happy today uh, to have the amount of supporters I have here that believe in me. They know one thing they know about me. If I had done something wrong, I'd be the first to stand up and admit it. I would have no problem taking any punishment uh, that I thought was, was, was uh, correct. But I did nothing wrong. My staff members did nothing wrong. We are being scapegoated here. This is political vindictiveness on the part of the mayor. And the superintendent is carrying this out as a way of clearing the mayor's name so that he is clear and, and hopes that he will be reelected in the next election. And you mentioned that the person chosen to do the investigation is not an outside party. The mayor today told me that it is an outside party. It is not an outside party. His name was Flo is Floyd Dugas. He's an attorney. He's a contributor to the mayor's campaign, Aaron. He is not an outside party. He's very biased. The entire report speaks to that. It speaks to his, his bias. It's like choosing a player to be the empire of the game. You can't choose a player on an opposing team to be the umpire. He is clearly on their team. He has four contracts from the city. The mayor had an agenda. This was very clear and obvious. The superintendent chose to ignore the strong evidence that we presented. My attorney did a great job of presenting a PowerPoint that clearly vindicated my building, my staff members, and he chose to ignore it, and he threw us under the bus for the sake of the mayor. It is the mayor first kids second. That's what the philosophy is right now at the and Board you, of Education. You also mentioned that you feel that the mayor has bullied you and other employees. Explain that. Well, well, I'm here also speaking on behalf of my colleagues. Many of my colleagues, like myself, have been bullied throughout the years. And the pressure is to give financial contributions to the mayor's campaign. And the mayor approached me. I refused to make financial contributions to his campaign. I also refused to take a picture with him last summer during his re-election campaign. And you said too that eight of the, seven of the eight allegations rather. We're unsubstantiated. Right. Seven of the eight allegations, I don't care what they're telling the press, seven of the eight allegations were unsubstantiated and the eighth one should have been found unsubstantiated based on the evidence that we presented regarding Riverside High School. And we've made freedom of requests uh, to secure documentation about Riverside uh, High School that they have chosen not to provide us as of now. And, we, and, and Aaron, you should know we've asked for transparency throughout this entire process. I've asked for the press and public to be a part of every part of this. They've refused it every step because they knew what the agenda was. They knew what they were going to do right from the beginning. And just one last thing. You stand your ground. There was no grade tampering. There was no grade tampering, Aaron, whatsoever. No grade tampering. My, my staff and my colleagues are innocent. We're being thrown under the best for, because of the mayor, they're trying to clear the mayor for the next election. It took eight months to get to this point. Eight months, and these were serious allegations. Give and me a break. This is clearly far and, from over. And now they're asking us to move forward, and we have no problems. I have no problems doing that. I'm going to turn everything over to my attorney and to my legal team, and I'm going to get back to restoring the glory at James Hill House that, unfortunately, they distracted us from. All right. Thank you guys very much. You're very all right, Keith and Ann, this is far from over. In fact, Kermit mentioned earlier that he will be filing a grievance. He's on a three-day suspension without pay, and he says that he doesn't accept the punishment because he did nothing wrong. Back to you in the studio.